I'm the Rules Girl, and this is One Night Ultimate Werewolf, a 10-minute social deduction game for 3 to 10 players. In One Night, players are villagers trying to identify and slay the werewolves that lurk among them. The goal of the game is to win. If you're a villager, you and your teammates win by successfully slaying a werewolf. If you're a werewolf, you win by evading capture. A game of One Night takes place over two phases, night and day. At the beginning of the night, players receive a secret roll, then close their eyes. A script is read by one player or the official companion app, instructing players of certain roles to open their eyes and secretly perform special abilities, such as looking at cards or moving them around. During the day, players discuss what happened during the night, with the villager-aligned players trying to discover who has the werewolf card in front of them. Players discuss who they think the werewolf is, and after five minutes, vote on who to kill. On the count of three, everyone points to the person they'd like to kill. The player, or players, with the most votes are killed, flipping over their card. If any werewolves were killed, the villagers win. If the tanner was killed, he wins. If neither were killed, the werewolves win. Be sure to flip over your own card to find out if you won. Your role might have been swapped during the night by another player. If every player has one vote, no one is killed. If anyone is a werewolf, the werewolves win. But otherwise, the villagers win. And that's the game. Ready to play? Choose three more cards than there are players, consulting the rulebook if you'd like a suggested composition. For your first game, play with this composition, adding more villagers if necessary. Deal one card face down to each player, leaving the three unchosen cards in the center row. Now look at your roll. This is the only roll you'll wake up to during the night, if applicable. Close your eyes and listen to the narrator. First, the werewolves wake up and look for other werewolves. If you're the only werewolf, you may peek at a card in the center row. After werewolves close their eyes, the seer wakes up and looks at one other player's card or two from the center. Next, the robber wakes up, swapping his card with another player's card, then viewing his new card. After that, the troublemaker wakes up, picking two other players' cards and swapping them, without looking at either. Villagers do not have a night action and keep their eyes closed all night. It's now day. Everyone has five minutes to discuss what happened. You now know everything you need for your first game. But if you'd like an overview of the other roles, keep watching. The doppelganger wakes up first. She looks at another player's card, copying that role. If your new role has a night action, do that action now. The doppelganger closes their eyes, unless they're the doppelminion. If the minion's in play, werewolves stick their thumbs out for a possible doppelminion to see. If the insomniac's in play, the doppel insomniac will wake up again and look at her card at the end of the night. When the minion wakes up, the werewolves stick out their thumbs so that the minion can see who they are. The minion is on the werewolf team, but isn't considered a werewolf. Masons wake up and look for other masons. When the drunk wakes up, he swaps his card for a card in the center without looking at his new card. He has no idea what team he's on. The insomniac wakes up and views her own card. The tanner doesn't wake up during the night. He wins if he's killed. The hunter also doesn't wake up. If he's killed, he also kills the player he's pointing at. If you like One Night Ultimate Werewolf, you'll enjoy its expansions and spin-offs, adding new roles and enemies, such as vampires and aliens, into the mix. You might also enjoy other social deduction games, like The Resistance or Secret Hitler. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to The Rules Girl for more ultra-concise rules explanations.